Have you ever tried exporting out maybe a video or an overlay from DaVinci Resolve and instead of having that transparent background that you want, it's got a black background? I know, super frustrating, right? And that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we can export out a video with a transparent background from DaVinci Resolve the right way. So that way you can use your logos, your graphics, your overlays in any project and have that transparent background. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Jason and I help video creators just like you learn DaVinci Resolve so that you can edit faster, you can make your videos sound better because I'm an audio guy and just help you feel more confident when you're editing in DaVinci Resolve. And a quick shout out to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna show you how I've been using the new SeaDream 4.5 AI tool to create images and animations that I can then bring into DaVinci Resolve, create a transparent background, and then overlay it on top of any video clip that I want. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know which formats are gonna give you transparency, the exact settings that I use, and some common mistakes you might run into when you're trying to export out a video that's got a transparent background. So let's jump into Resolve, export some videos with transparent backgrounds. Inside of DaVinci Resolve here, currently in the Edit tab, and I've got a little sequence of the logos here from DaVinci Resolve that I created, and they have a black background on them, right? But maybe I wanna use this in you know, multiple projects and I wanna overlay it onto some video clips. For example, I've got a little coffee shop here, maybe I want the logos to appear on top of that. Well, if I slide my clip over, you can see we've got the black background there, so it doesn't really work the way that I want it to. So we need to export this out so that we've got a transparent background. So the first thing we need to do is actually get rid of the black background inside of our clip here. So I'm gonna jump over into the color tab and there's a couple different ways that you can do this, but we basically wanna select the black background here. And if you have something a little more advanced, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second here. But for now, you can come to the eyedropper tool here, which is in the free version and it's in studio. Just select your black color and then we wanna add an alpha output. So I'm gonna right click Come down to add alpha output, connect that up, and I actually have to invert it, which is this icon right here. So now it flips it and it should be taking out all of that black background. Now the background is black by default. So if we just wanted to double check it, we can come back to the edit tab, pull this clip on top, and now we can see, okay, it did. It pulled out all of black that we don't want inside of our image. So if you have a specific color or a range of colors, you can use that, or you can use something like the magic mask. So if I jump back into the color tab here, if you have studio, cause this is studio only, you can jump in here. You can use your magic mask. And I'm gonna show you how I use that on a video of myself where I wanna isolate myself and have me on a transparent background in a second. But let's just say that this method works good here and I'm happy with this. So back in the edit tab, I'm just gonna set some in and out points so I can render out this video. So once you're in the deliver page here, we're gonna need to use a custom export. So go ahead and click on custom export right here. You can go ahead and select your location and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call my logos transparent. Now, typically when I export videos, I'm doing an MP4 format and a codec of either H.265 or H.264. Now here's where you have to change, make a change so that we can actually get the transparency we want. So there's a few different settings that you can use. So if we click on format and then we come down to QuickTime, we wanna use that as the format. So QuickTime is the format and then Codec, we've got some options here. So you can use Apple ProRes and then you can select for the type, you want Apple ProRes 4444. And you can see once we do that, now under frame rate, we have export alpha. So if we have anything that's a transparent uh, you know, part of our video, it's gonna export that out. So you wanna check that on. Now you can make any other changes that you want and then add it to your render queue. But before we do that, let me just show you some of the other options you have here. You can also use the last one here, Apple ProRes 4444XQ. We'll still have our alpha. We can change our codec to a different type. You can use either one of these, the DNS, DNX HD or HR, and both of those are gonna be the same. You're gonna have that export alpha right here, and that's gonna give you the transparent background that you want. You can also come down to GoPro Cineform, and then for type, you have to change that to RGB 16 bit, and then we have alpha export right there. And lastly, you can come down to H.265 under the format of QuickTime. And then for that, we're also gonna have the export alpha right here. So you've got different options on which ones you wanna use. The one that I've been using lately is the Apple ProRes. 
and coming down to the 4444. I'm going to say export alpha here. And then all I have to do is add that to the render queue. And then I'm going to go ahead and render that out. And I'm using in and out points, but depending on how long your video is, you're going to want to either set in and out points or just have your one thing in the timeline. I'm going to hit render. And just like that, we're done. So let's jump back into the edit tab. And now I'm going to drag those logos transparent file that I made into my timeline here. And if everything worked out correctly, boom, we have transparent logos on there. If I play through it, you can see it rotates through the logos. You could throw a little drop shadow on there. It'll make it look real nice. But now this is, has a transparent background. We can use it wherever we want. We can scale it up, scale it down. You can do whatever you want with your image or video or whatever it might be that has a transparent background. Now that's pretty simple, right? But let's say I wanted to take this video of me right here sitting at my desk, having a little sip of coffee, and I wanted to put myself on a transparent background so I could put myself inside of this coffee shop. How do we do that? Well, again, we need to get rid of the background of this image. And this is where the magic mask is gonna come in super handy for you. So I'm gonna jump over into the color tab. So once you're in the color tab here, you're gonna to wanna to use the magic mask, which is this guy right here. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select the dropper and select one or two or maybe three different points in your image. Now I've already done that and I've already run it because it's a little slow and takes a few minutes. So when I turn this on, you can see what I end up with is me on a black background, but it's actually not black. It's actually transparent. And to make sure that I'm on the transparent background, I needed to enable my alpha output. So if I right click up in here, I say add alpha output that gives you this blue dot right here. And then I just connect the blue dot to there and then we have the alpha output. If I undo that real quick, you can see that's what it looks like. Connect it up, boom, it gets rid of the background for me. So now same thing, you're gonna wanna jump over into the deliver page, set some in and out points of this, and then go ahead and use one of the settings I've already mentioned. I'm gonna just use the Apple ProRes, the type, the Apple ProRes 4444. Make sure your export alpha is checked on. Once it's rendered out, we can jump back into the edit page, and here's what it looks like once I put it on top of the coffee shop video. There's me sitting in a coffee shop, having a little cup of coffee. So there's no background, it's me on a transparent background, and now I can do whatever I want with it. So you can do it with videos or still images, it doesn't really matter. Now let's jump on Artlist, I wanna show you something cool I created there using the new C-Dream 4.5 AI, and then we're gonna bring that into Resolve, and I'm gonna show you how we can put that onto a transparent background. So when you land on Artlist, you've got a couple ways you can get to the new C-Dream 4.5. It'll be right here on their homepage, or you can just come to the AI image or AI video. I've gone ahead and created a few cool things here using the new C-Dream 4.5 model. And I gotta tell you, this thing is pretty sick, right? You can put in a little description. You can then enhance it right here. Go ahead and generate it and it's going to come up with all kinds of cool stuff for you so i created a cool little logo right here and then i animated that using the same tool for it to look like this so we're going to bring these into resolve and i'm going to get rid of the white background so i can lay it on top of any video but just to show you some of the other cool things that it did it created some cool artwork i was trying out it created subscribe end screens for me which are really cool and then some of my favorites here I started just messing around with Back to the Future stuff because I love me some Back to the Future. And I put in some prompts about keeping the DeLorean and some things from the movies and coming up with these AI images. And it's just, it's so cool. It does a really good job. I even tried creating a little studio for myself that I could put myself in, right? Using this technique of creating a transparent background uh, that we've been learning in this video. And if you're not sure which AI model you should be using for whatever it is you wanna create, just click on the model here and you can see the different types of models that they have. It gives you a little description on what it does and how it works. So you have text to image. You can do image to image where you say, hey, I have this image and then give it a text prompt on how you want it to change it. If you wanted to change to video, you can come over here to the video tab. And again, you've got several different models here. You've got the Sora AI that you can try out that works really well too. So if you wanna try out this new tool from Artlist, Go ahead, hit that link up in the description below. Give it a try, see what you think. You could probably come up with some amazing things. I know anything I plug in there usually comes out pretty amazing. But let's jump back and resolve now and take the background out of that little logo we created so that we have transparent background and we can lay it on whatever we want. Thanks Artlist for sponsoring today's video. So back in Resolve, I've got my two little logos in my timeline. First, we're gonna do the image and same technique that we used before. I'm gonna select my image, jump into the color tab. I'm gonna use my color selector because we have a solid white background there. I'm gonna select the white and then I need to invert it. I'm gonna add my alpha output by coming up to my nodes, right click, add alpha output, 
connect them up. And we may need to make some adjustments here. And once we go through, we make some adjustments here on our settings. So it kind of cleans up that uh, white that we were seeing a little bit extra there. Then we can come into our deliver tab, set some in and out points, use whichever settings you want. Again, I'm going with the Apple ProRes, add it to the render queue, and I'm going to export that out. And back in the edit tab here, let's drop it on top of our coffee shop. And now we can see, there we go. We can scale it down. We can do whatever we want with it. It's transparent. Maybe you want to throw a little drop shadow on there because I love me some drop shadows on stuff. Drop that on there. Soften it up if you want. And then you can go ahead and use that wherever you want. And same thing applies for the video clip itself. Again, I'm going to select my video clip, jump into the color page. Once you're in the color tab here, you could try and use the magic mask depending on what your video looks like. In this case, it's mostly white in the background. So I'm probably going to use the same method here. I use the eyedropper and I go in and just uh, select some different spots here. Maybe I'll click the little plus dropper so I can just grab a bunch of different spots of the white here, something like that. And then we're going to have to invert it again like we did last time. I'm going to add my alpha output by right clicking, add alpha output, connect that up. And again, we're going to have to go in and just kind of clean it up a little bit, just like we did with the previous clip there. So let's say that looks good. We just adjusted some of our uh, matte finesse settings down in here just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Same thing. We're going to jump into the deliver page. You go ahead and name it whatever you want. I'll call this number three. Again, make sure you've got that alpha export selected with one of the settings we already talked about. I'm going to set some in and out points and then go ahead, add it to the render queue. Hit render and let it do its thing. And then we're going to bring it back into DaVinci Resolve. So bringing it back into Resolve here, throwing it on my coffee scene. Now you can see we've got the logo animated. We've got a transparent background. It's on top of the coffee scene. We can scale it down, do it whatever we want. Maybe, uh, you know, you want to put it up in the corner or something like this. I don't know. Whatever you might want to do, you can do that. And then now we've got that nice transparent background on top of our logo. So there you have it. That's how you export out a video from DaVinci Resolve with a transparent background. It's all about which settings you use, because if you don't use the right ones, you're just going to end up with a solid black background. And that's not what we want most of the time, right? You want that transparency. So make sure you get your settings correct. A big thank you to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. If you want to create some cool AI imagery and videos with the new Sea Dream 4.5 AI model, check it out on Artlist. I'll leave a link in the description below. And what I found AI is really good for is just creating those things that you can't create yourself, right? Maybe you can't go out and get a shot. Maybe you can't go to a location or get an image of something, but you can figure out what you want and put it in some text and the AI tools are gonna be able to create that for you. So really, really cool. I mean, it's amazing what this stuff can do. And a big thank you to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. So if you're interested in that, go ahead, hit up that link and check it out. With that said, I'm out of here and I will see you in the next video. Peace.